Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Neat Slap and K-Pop podcast. I'm Sammy, and with me today I have Kayla. Hello. And we're here for the second produce of Produce Month. We are. We've we are taken a trip to China. Long. We have. For the first time. For the first time this time. And yep. we're doing Chuang 2021. Woo-hoo. Or Produce Camp four produce camp no produce yep. camp three three i think it's just still 2021 i guess sure produce camp 2021 I, guess. I don't know how the naming works i anymore. don't know <laughs> chuang 2021 which is what we call it yep and yep. this is one of my new favorite seasons of this show this is on oh yes it is so so funny because i think one of the main things with these produce seasons is our favorite ones are the ones that are just kind of like wild like it's just absolutely like wild and this is definitely one of them this really it's a wild season it's insane and honestly because of new china regulations that we'll get into probably more next week this Mm -hmm. might be the last season of this show and honestly they went out with a bang they really did yeah oh yeah so chuang 2020 uh 2021 gives us the group into one which yes. is maybe the dumbest name um it's the worst name because it produces, combines about yes. like five different names of groups that already exist because, which is kind of unfortunate true because recently we've had to come to terms with the fact that two is now to one yes we not also already be, have j01 not to be confused with j01 and then also not to be confused we have also with into it into I it in, yep into one into it it's a lot of a lot and then i think into one existed before i and i but that's also in like the a same realm much. of naming here mm-hmm. so this year's group names because uh you bad three they're bad groups names is just called x form but it's silent i because it's ix form because it's the roman numeral for nine because that's what we're doing with that because we've run out of i guess i mean u9 was not that creative but like it's nine per, than we are nine percent and then we have the nine and so the we nine. have to go to roman numerals now yep we used the word twice then the letter and then the, or no the, no, the number and now, now we're, we're roman the roman numerals. numeral mm-hmm. oof great but Love yes that. But what I will say is that I do you want to do the ranking now? This yeah, let's do the so ranking. Good. We had to re-rank all the seasons given we re-ranked everything. We so did. starting from the bottom at 14th place, the the worst season. Horrible. It's a bad, uh, horrible, horrible Produce season. 101 China. Horrible that season. That season sucks. You can ignore <laughs> that season. Genuinely had a terrible time watching that season. Yep. Did not enjoy it in the slightest. Oh, yeah. Then at 13, it's Chuang 2019, one of the most boring seasons. That's also a terrible- gave us a bad group. Gave us a bad group, and the season is so boring. Like, so, so, so boring. With a similar sentiment of our 12th season, uh, Youth With You. Mm -hmm. uh, Also very boring, but gave us a better group. Gave us a better Better group, group. still pretty boring. Yes. Then we have Produce X at 11. Yeah. Uh, Produce X is- is number one also boring number two um x1 is unfortunately dead on only arrival. dead on arrival and number three it was essentially produced korea running out of ideas and throwing shit at a wall and none of them were actually that interesting well, like, at all less so, interesting than the way china throws yeah it's just like wall. we're throwing like things at the wall for no like they made like at like different forms for the rounds but they don't really make any sense yeah. or they and they don't end up meaning a lot so at 10, Pretty we have bad. Youth With You 3, a season we'll get to next week, and also the death of Chinese produce. It gets knocked a little bit because it's also pretty boring, but it also killed this entire franchise. So. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. Then at 9, it's Youth With You 2. That's fine. It's, it's a little fine. less boring. Now we're getting into, seasons. like, the fine seasons. Yeah. Then at 8 is Chuang 2020. Very fun. I, I think I like Chuang 2020 people. and Youth of You 2 kind of come as a pair yeah. because they're both pretty good seasons and they they're make pretty good. decently good I think good I good like groups. Youth, uh, Chuang 2020 a little performances a little bit more. Yeah. And also I think I just liked a lot of the people more. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, then at seven, we have the original Produce 101, Korea. Yep. It's fine. It's fine. It's proof, it's proof of concept, yeah, essentially. It's, Nothing it's really, really exciting there. Mm-hmm. Then at six is Produce 101 Japan Season 2, the longest title. Well, super long title. Super, as long as we can make the title. But that I season was very fun. It was an enjoyable season. I, I mean, liked it. We talked about it last week. It's very fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, then at five is Produce 48. A good yep. gimmick in Korean produce. It was. Well, that was the best gimmick. gimmick we had. Well, out of the two seasons that were gimmicky, it yes. was by far the better one. Yeah. Yes, it's very fun. And mm-hmm. gave us a really good group. Uh, then at number four, we have Produce 101 Season 2. Yep. So the, the 101 season, for anybody getting confused. Because there's a lot of- we're just saying a lot of the same words over and over again right now. So. Same, same words, different order. Yeah. Uh, very good. I mean- it, We it, always it, say that's one of the go-to seasons yeah. to watch for Produce. It's the it's, go-to- honestly, it's the go-to- if you want to watch a Korean season of Produce, if uh, C-pop and J-pop don't seem to be your thing- just Watch go that for one. The, it's a classic. And also, because that's we've also called it the peak of produce and like yes. the purest form of the show that exists, which I think are both still true, it's, having seen the last three seasons this yes. year. So, plus the fact of it is still, I think, the only season where like you, these are all unknowns because as, as produce has gone on, you get a lot of familiar faces going on for redemption. This this was back when the show was still almost entirely, except with with. An with, exception of the I mean, newest. New, the newest thing, with but they the also created exception, an entire phenomenon. Yes. With so. the, yeah, it's mainly because of this season that that has happened, but uh, it's really where the majority of people were new faces that you'd never heard of. But if you've been into K-pop for any time at all, all of those faces are now recognizable. If faces. you watch this show on a retrospective, oh having been God, into K-pop so the last, people. like, three or four years, you'll recognize every single person on that mm-hmm. season. Like, it's ridiculous. Whether you like them or you dislike them, you yeah, will recognize Yeah, you will recognize, them. like, almost everybody mm-hmm. on that season. Uh, now at number three, our new favorite we're gonna get into yep. is Chuang 2021. I love it. It's moments. great. I love it. It's so fun. It. It's so such fun. a fun season. I did not think that, because a lot of the recent seasons, at least season from last year, you'll see that we ranked pretty low other than produce. Eh, season, even season two is was two years ago, but like yeah. a lot of the newer seasons we rank pretty low. I did not think that this show could get to a point where I loved a season as much as I loved this season. And I also this didn't so expect good. Chuang to be the season oh, that yeah. I, Ch- this season of Chuang, like, oh. a specific season of Chuang, I was not expecting it to be this good at all. Like, I was expecting it to be terrible, and it was and, amazing. Oh, I loved every second of it. Then yeah. we have uh, Produce 101 Japan, we have a full episode on it, it's phenomenal, love it's that. iconic, everyone's yeah. amazing, J-O-1's the best group that's ever come out we of We love them. Show. That's a, what a, it's such a good, it's such a so good, good season, too. It's so good. It's very <laughs> it's so hard. fun. It is... In in a way, it is like the purest form of this show. It is no gimmicks, just yeah, very much what the show set out. It is the closest thing to season one, I think. Yeah. Oh that yeah, you will for get sure. To. Like if mm-hmm. you really loved Produce One Hundred and One, the original season, like the low budget, the proof of concept style, the low budget, the low budget, the for low sure. budget. <laughs> Then you watch Produce One Hundred and One Japan because everything yeah. since then has sort of gone bigger. Yeah, yeah. Japan kind of brought it back to the roots, and I really like that. And mm-hmm. then number one, Idol Producer. Come on. I, I mean, the two seasons we have in one and two are the two that we did full episodes on yes. and didn't lump into the produce retrospective, so I mean, I think that says a lot already. It is, and honestly, the thing with that is that it just is a jumping off point to so much, and it is so wild and so it's fun. Wi- it's wild, but it's such a fun time and as like, well. And, like, there's so many people, and it has the links back to the Korean produce, it has, like, the judges are so- I still think that season might have some of Jackson. my favorite judges. That season, and I think maybe Chuang 2020, because Tao is, Tao and Luhan are great. Oh, the Tao Luhan, yeah. Tao and Victoria. Luhan, Victoria are fabulous, but, like, those Oh, seasons... but that season has have Chris for a, a hot <laughs> second, so. <laughs> I didn't want to mention him. I didn't want to mention him. He doesn't there for a long. You can skip the Chris parts, people. <laughs> skip the Chris parts. We don't talk about him. We He's don't the, talk about him anymore. But uh, I.O. Producer has some of the, my favorite, like, you have Jackson, you have Shang Zhao, you have Pinky there. So many people. It's fabulous. MC Jin over MC there Jin. with Jackson. It's pretty uh, great. 
I don't remember who the vocal mentor is, but, but he's he amazing very, too. He he's was great. honestly one of the best. I think I think he is. I would call him the best vocal mentor. Of oh this yeah, of all the series. shows, he yes. was great. I genuinely think because even though Jackson is not a good rap mentor, he gives out good rap good advice. advice. Really good such advice. Such good advice. Like, and even though like Pinky and Cheng Zhao are not older than these people pinky was on a season like barely two years oh yeah those two, two are per, like young and here they are as like dance and, mentors and they're good dance mentors so like mm-hmm. honestly i've i've always said it i think the chinese seasons have the best mentors period yeah which i think is a consistent theme throughout all of this because even like uh youth for as much as um youth with you original is not a good season i mm-hmm. love after journey and mc Jin. Fabulous. oh yes Fabulous. They're pretty great. They're great. And Ming Hao's in it. That's great. But yeah, this though even the bad Chinese seasons, you get some fun mentors. You do. You really do. But um, yeah, no. So that's our list. Genuinely, any of like the top five seasons, like Idol Producer, Produce Japan, Chuang Twenty Twenty One, Produce Season Two, and Produce Forty Eight, top tier great. seasons. Pretty you great. can jump into any of those five seasons. That's what I would recommend. If you want a gimmick, go with 48. Yeah. If you want to just know everybody without, no, like, know everyone is going to be fine. Yeah. Produce season you know, two. Everyone's going to be fine. Yep, yep. Chuang 2021 is wild. Ido producer, mm-hmm. wild. And then Japan is so sweet. It is Japan big. is, it's so funny. Also, It's, it's so like funny. unintentionally really funny. It's like unintentionally really funny, but it. also I think one of the most heartfelt seasons of that show. It is. It really so is. So heartfelt. They also cry a lot. If you don't have tolerance for crying, do not watch any of the Yeah, Japan I seasons. mean, I'll do a lot of crying in the Japan seasons, but that is a running theme for that. So do you just want to get into... Do you want to go over the people, the just like our group people so we first? Have... Sure. So, um... The thing about this season, and this is something that it has, because we watch all of these episodes, all each season takes, we, we, we dedicate one day per season. Yes. And the problem with dedicating one day per season is that very often what we are skipping are the just quote unquote character building moments where yeah. they're just sitting around talking. Mm-hmm. Uh, to be honest... That's not what we care about. We'll learn who to like later. And for the most part, with a lot of seasons, especially a lot of seasons we describe as boring, it's mainly just because we don't like anybody. Because we Youth With You care. and Chuang are so long. long. They're, They're too- so, so long. They have long. now made them be 22 episodes, multiple parts an episode, and each part is at least in, like, at least an, in, hour like an hour and a half. Yeah. It's at least like an hour and a half. So each And there's just so is much content to get hours. through and there's so much of it that it has no meaning or like will not matter at all in the end. Exactly. So. so we end up skipping a lot. But this season reminded me a lot of Idol Producer and uh Produce 101 Japan, where we would stop and watch parts of it because we're like, I need to know about, like what's happening with these people. Like I wanna right? know. I need to know. Right? And, like, I think it was because the way it was formatted, we were, like, immediately introduced to, like, so many interesting and fun people. Yeah. That, like, we it made us want to stop and watch more of those moments because they, they were, we, because we knew them and we, like, had our, and already invested ourselves into them, we knew they were going to be fun, so. Yeah, and there were just immediately people that we had, like, uh, heard about. Like, yes. Lelouch I had heard about Lelouch. before. We'll get to Lelouch. We had we been have reading about the about... entire saga of Lelouch before we even went exactly. and watched the season. Lelouch was talked about outside of the produce sphere. Lelouch was getting Lelouch made, like, to international me. headlines exactly. because they held a Russian man hostage at a Chinese survival show. And we'll talk about the entire saga of Lelouch later, but, like, I'd heard about Lelouch, and then, like, Piecing together the pieces of Lelouch also then got me invested in other people. I yes, have, yes. I recognized one person because of other things I watch. We'll get to him. Mm-hmm. And, like, there's just people that we were immediately intrigued by that then had, like, friends that were like, oh, but who are you? Right? So we're like... Because a lot of them, a the- lot of them came together with people who are already in groups together. So there was, like, if you found, like, one person who was interesting in that group, well, you also kind of, kind of knew the people that were in the group with them a little bit. So. Yeah. So do you just want to go through, because, look, Into One is described as a 
Chinese Japanese Thai 11 member boy group. Yes. That's a description of a group. It is uh-huh. mainly, it is probably the most international group produce has ever made. It is, like, insanely Infinitely. international. Like, and I love so, it. It is so international. And, like, we have everything. You have, like, like Chinese Americans. You have someone who's mixed. You have, like, it is. Multiple. It, multiple, multiple people, people who, who are, are mixed. mixed. Multiple yeah. mixed people. And, like, m- different variations of mixed too yes why did why Why variations of mixed which is interesting because i i'm trying to think of all the produce seasons there's never been a mixed person that has made the group there have been mixed people that have almost made the groups the biggest notable example i remember is season two is samuel oh so me so me never mind i'm wrong i forgot about so me (laughs) well immediately that's wrong because the first immediately the like winner of the first season one. <laughs> Did you forget? I forgot Somi until you said. I that. forgot Somi. I okay. So I forgot Somi made IOI because I always associate Somi with sixteen now, and I know she loses sixteen, and I was like, no, she didn't win a survival show. And I'm like, yes, yeah, she did. It was just a different one. It was a different one, and I forgot yeah. Somi was on that show, and I'm like, because I like Produce One Hundred One is fourteen seasons now, and like. If I'm being honest, the amount of space each season takes up in my brain directly correlates to how much I like... No, that's wrong. Because I feel like it's both recency bias, and Mm -hmm. also there's just things where I'm like, I don't remember them. I have not seen season one since season one aired. I've seen clips of season one, but I have not seen that show in years. Oh, yeah. And there's just parts of it that are just never gonna be remembered. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, I, the person that sticks out in my mind from season one is Chunga. Yeah. But, like, I, I remember a lot of Sejong from season uh-huh. one because she was a pretty big character, like, generally on the show. So I remember Sejong a lot from season one. Yeah. But then it's, like, also, I just, like, every time I see, like, Weki Meki or just, like, you know. I remember. The groups who are failing, like, like, a lot in comparison to what IOI was doing, I'm always reminded of it again, Yeah, I so. always feel, like, I always, like, when I'm confronted with them, it's different, but, like, when I'm yeah. just trying to think about things, I'm like, oh, yeah, season one. I forgot mm-hmm. about that. Good to know. Good to remember. But, like, so into one, very exciting. Do we just want to go through? I think let's just go down to the entire, like, cave profiles right. of them. Because so everyone you're... has a backstory. Yes. Literally everyone has had some type of, almost everyone, I think, has had some type of career before they made this group. This is, we have so much to say. So do you want to start? Yeah, so first we have um, Bo Yuan. He um, was on Youth With You Season 1 and ranked 34th on that show. Yep. Another, I don't rem- I can't remember him at all. There's so could, many people. I could not tell you could not one. remember that he was on that at all. Also a member of a boy group named Zero G. Which I've heard of and I've listened to a little bit. They're fine. That's mm-hmm. sort of like it that happened after Youth with You season season one. Mm-hmm. It it was fine. It's, it's fine. Yeah. So then we have Rikabaru. Yes. Mm-hmm. Rikamaru is Japanese, and along yes. with another member of uh, this group, our third, well, the next person here, we'll talk about them together, Santa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mind you, birth name, Santa. Santa just want to let everyone know that there's a man named Santa in this group. Yep. <laughs> Came in second place on this show. I mean, he's great. Love Santa. He is great. Santa's I do love Santa. I do love Santa. Boy. Love Santa's him. great. Um, but real name, thought it was a stage name. No, birth not, name, birth Santa. Name. Not after Santa Claus, though. Made a no, point. No, we did, we did make a point that, you know, it's not Santa Claus. So we yes. did make that point but, pretty early yeah. in the show. So he's also Japanese. And him and Rikamaru are both in a Japanese boy group called Wraps Up. Oof. Yeah. That's a, that's a name. And, um, this, the, I looked up Wraps Up, has a very, like, they actually have a decent amount of music. The, Wraps Up is four people. The other two members of Wraps Up They're Chinese. are Chinese. Yes. Which is a lot. Yep, yep. But, like, they, they actually have, they did, they only debuted in 2019, so this is actually a very recent group. Yes, yes. They had a couple singles. It's an acronym, which I don't want to do. do I don't, I don't, I don't, I've, the acronym is bad, and I've also lost it, but I went on there. I have it. It's a bad acronym. It is Wave, 
assemble radical people syndicate. Yeah. That's the, uh, that's so those are words. Those are just words. It's so unfortunate. But also, they did the ending to the final season of the remake of Fruits Basket, which is weird. That's a lot. It is a lot. But yeah, so Rikamaru is also a was a choreographer. And no, he, Fruits Basket was Intersection. Mm-mm. You did Fruits also Basket. Fr- also, fr- uh, Intersection did an ending. Uh, Wraps Up did an opening. So fun. So both of them did something for the same anime. But uh, Rikamaru also choreographed uh, Taman's Famous and Red Velvet's Rookie Choreography. So he worked Which with is, a lot of it, SM. Yeah, because a are, lot of them, he seems to just have been like a choreographer. Yeah. Um, Which before. again, I want to know, uh, those who are very different choreographies. Yes. Ricky Morrow is also pretty old as well. Yeah, Ricky um, Morrow Especially is, to be debuting in like a boy group now, like he's pretty, pretty old. Yeah, he's 93. Mm-hmm. So it's like. He's older than we are, which is always weird to have an idol that's older than we are debuting. Right. Debuting now, especially. Yeah. And then Santa was more was a backup dancer for Taman on his two Japanese tours and also in the music video for Famous. So mm-hmm. yay. Hooray. Do you Hooray for do, them? Uh Yeah, so then we have Mika next. Mika is from Hawaii. Mika um, is one of our mixed friends. Yep, he is half Japanese. He's in the boy group intersection. Who, um, no one else in that group made it into Into One, but Kaylin and uh, Kazuma were also both on the show with so him. So the thing with, uh, it, I think it's true about all the members of intersection is that they are half white. They're all half Japanese. And half Japanese. Yeah. Which is... Which is... And that is the concept of the group, by the way. Like, that was an intentional decision that was made, yeah. Mixed white and Japanese. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I think... Some of them look more than others. Kaylin looks very white. All of them, I'm pretty sure, are American. Like, they're, like, all from America America as well. Yeah. Like, Kaylin is a little bit more iffy because he was in, like, a military family, so he's moved more. But, like, all of them are, like... Born apparently in Cuba. On a military base. On a military base. So he is a but he's American by that. Yeah. Token. He's American. And also I want to point out Kaylin is spelled in the not the to worst, make fun of Kaylin. Probably but the also worst way the, you can spell that name. It's spelled C A E L A N. That is yeah. not the best way to spell the name Kaylin. Parents, please. That yep, sounds yeah. also like like no offense, but like that sounds like a terror. If you're learning to spell in English, Mm -hmm. and that's your name, that sounds like a bad time. It sounds not not fun. Um, Yeah, but Intersection also did the ending theme for the 2019 Fruits Basket. And then they also did the ending theme to the third season of Black Clover. Which is interesting. So that's fun for them, I guess. But also a lot of their music is also entirely in English. Yeah. So, oh, like, yeah. it's very, very, it varies greatly. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is fun. I got him. Um, so next we have Nine. Yep. So Nine is Ty. And, um, he was, um, <laughs> I recognize Nine. I heard the name. I hadn't seen his face, and I'm like, Nine sounds familiar, da 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 I couldn't put my finger on why I remembered him. And then I saw him, and I'm like, Kayla, I think my reaction to specifically was, no way. Yeah. Like, I can't, like, what? And <laughs> immediately I started to, like, look this up, because Nine, being Ty, is, was an actor, is an actor, I don't yes. know how we're how we're how we're defining this. Is he maybe will be an actor after the group is done? Who really who knows? can say for sure? Who can say? But if any of you are somewhat degenerates like me, you will know. You will recognize him as a uh, from the great two, 2019 Thai BL drama Two Moons Two, where he played Kit and. <laughs> 
Kayla, yes. you I've shown you scenes you have. of Kit and Ming from Two Moons 2. Entirely uh-huh. because of this. What are your mm-hmm. thoughts about- I'm, a, I'm surprised he's allowed to be in this group, to be honest, considering recent China regulations. <laughs> Well, always China regulations in terms of, like... I mean, but even, like, recently, there's been a lot of developments with, like, new China regulations, and I'm like, do... I'm like, do... Are we not aware of this... Of this man's past life in Thailand? Like, <laughs> I'm sure somebody out there has to know. There's no way I, someone doesn't know. The minute know. I saw him, I looked everything up, and I'm like, oh my god, that's him. Wait a minute, he was gonna be in Two Moons 3! He's not, obviously. Now we gotta now put two, two Moons, moons three, 3 on hold. <laughs> well, I think Two Moons 3 was already on hold. I think that might have been cancelled already from before. <laughs> but, oof. Like, lovely. But yes. Two, again, Kit and Ming, best couple on Two Moons 2. We'll say that. Also, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> it's just very funny the way, we'll get to how Nine talks about his past. But it's, it's so very <laughs> funny. <laughs> I'm like surprised that they didn't like back like background check him. No, or if they, they did know. background check him and were they okay have with to this. Know. They there's no way they don't know. Like they have to know. There's no way that no one knows. They know. You know who definitely knows? Patrick definitely. Yeah, well, also Patrick knows. for sure knows, but like. So uh, also he was technically in a boy boy group kind of called uh, OXQ, which is just. Five of the boys from Two Moons 2 making a boy group for a hot second. Ugh. That was fun. But also, yep. like, I I was shocked. <laughs> I was surprised. I yep. love him. Love him so much. He's great. Mm-hmm. One of a new, a new fave. <laughs> he is great. He, Nine is pretty great. But also, like... I can't believe those worlds are crossing. <laughs> just look up to anybody that doesn't know. Just look up Two Moons 2, Ming and Kit, and you'll see why I'm like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is this is where he is now. This is where he I That's mean, I think he's up. thriving. I'm happy he for is. him. He definitely is. It just blows my mind that he just it's just a thing that we're never gonna mention ever. It's like past career. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> um, so next we have Lu Zhang. He hasn't done a lot other than he was in Rap for Youth before. He also apparently studied at New York University, so that's exciting. Oh, yay! Then we have uh, Li Yu. Uh, he also hasn't done that much. Like, he was in the Chinese Youth and ranked second. I don't know what that show is. No. And he's also an actor a bit. He actually ends up winning the show, so. You can tell we have a lot more to say about the foreign members of this. Those were we really the, the Korean, ones that the we Chinese latched. Members. Those are the ones we really latched on to when watching the show were the foreign members. I don't know a single one of the actual Chinese members of this group, to be perfectly honest. All right, next. Um, so next we have Lin Mo. He was also briefly an actor, I guess. Um, he was in the C drama Don't Go After School. Yay. Mm-hmm. Then we have Zhao Qi. Uh, he is uh, also uh, Chinese American. Daniel, birth name Daniel. Birth name Daniel. Uh, he is uh, Chinese American. He is from the U.S. So I believe that just implied that he was born in the U.S., yeah. But I guess, you know, no dual citizenship. He might have... Re- I don't... He currently lives in Beijing, so I guess he got rid of Beijing. that. I don't, know yeah. what, I don't know what that means. But he... He's also apparently a member of the Chinese boy group Best, and he starred in I Once Remembered That Guy, which is a terrible what title. What a title for a show. <laughs> what a title. Yep, yep. Um, we also have Zhang... Jia Yuan, I have no idea how to say his name. That's a hard name to say. That is a, those are a it's lot a of letters. a hard name to Kayla. say. <laughs> those are a lot of letters. Um, but he was on the Chinese version of Super Band and was yep. in the, um, he's the guitarist of the band Galaxy Band, which was made on that show. Which also has a cello player. Very Hoppy Polo. Very Hoppy Polo-like, yes. Yes. 
And so, lastly, we have Patrick. Mm -hmm. Patrick is uh, Thai German. Yes. We're adding more Germans to the German contingent. More half Germans. Again. He was born in Germany. Yes. Which is fun. And and he also is a, uh, he was also on Thai television. He also uh, stars in The Gifted Graduation, the second season of The Gifted. Nice. Not a BL show. Entirely straight Not show, yet. So <laughs> slightly <laughs> not more. As, not quite at the level where nine is. Not at, at the, not at the nine level, but. Yes. I mean, I haven't seen it, but it's on my list. I may have watched it by the time this comes out. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Out of pure curiosity. Out of pure curiosity to see if uh, uh, Patrick is a good actor. But if Patrick is... I like Patrick. He's nice. He's also nice. like Patrick a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Patrick's birth name is also very funny. It is. <laughs> it's because it's, it's, it's a mixture of, of Thai, Thai and, and German. And German, so it's really funny. And I don't even want to say it because I don't speak Thai or German. I don't so know I'm how to. It. I don't know how to say his middle name at all. Is the reason I don't want to say it out loud because I'm not going to say it correctly. <laughs> I can. I. I can't say. But his he essentially has a his name is Patrick, Ma and then he has Patrick, a Thai middle name, and, and then, then his last German name is la Finkler. Essentially, it's Patrick Natawat Finkler. Yes, that's the man's birth name. <laughs> birth name. I love it. Genuinely. It's amazing. And I remember before when, like, just when I was- Because I, I would get news articles about Chewing all the time before we went and actually watched uh -huh. it. About, like, the top, like, people. And always I would be seeing, like, Patrick and Santa. And I'm like, what on earth is going on in Chewing? Where we've got, like, people named Patrick and Santa. Like, just this is over just here. what we're doing this season is Patrick and Santa. Yep. And honestly- Two of my favorite people on this show. I know. You know, they, now, I don't really love the fact that I, like, stand a person stand named a Santa, person. but here we are in, in 2021, and now it, I, that's what's happening, so. Uh, Santa's a highlight. Santa is great. I love him. He's pretty great. So, do you just now want to get into what actually happened on the show? Sure. Um, we're gonna yada yada a lot of it, because there was a lot of unnecessary things here that really do not matter at all oh yeah you can yada um, so yada I, a lot of what happened a so lot of it begin so with the audition. audition auditions as normal also gonna put out out there right now because as we have seen has into one is massively international this entire season is oh. massively international do you want to mention the white people that's what i was gonna say i was like we gotta uh, mention the fact that there are Several white several white men on this so, show. This is for various reasons. So yes. I think this is also where we get into this show's massive casting issue. This this show was having like a catastrophe right this before was it was about to start filming. This show was a catastrophe from minute one. Now yeah. we have always said that. So a lot of these white people are for various reasons. One of which is that at least with a lot of the half white people. Uh, that's because you got into four member, a four member group entirely made of people that are half white. Yes. So that's all, that. Three of them, three of them just at all came on the show. So that's yeah. where we're getting that from. So that's where we're getting also, that Also, the reason why we have, there's a lot, a lot of Japanese people yes. on, um, Shuang 2021. That is because they cannot go on, on Produce to, Japan mm -hmm. because you cannot be affiliated with a company to go on Produce Japan. So all of... Those people in Japan who would go on, like, a normal season of produce, they have to come to China now because Korea doesn't have produce anymore, so they have to come to China to do produce. The other thing is that this show and uh, Youth With You 3 aired at about the same time. Around, yes. the, like, take a couple, give or take a couple weeks. They and were essentially airing the same together. Time. Yeah, now, I think, yeah. Now, here's the thing with that. I have said before, how the fuck do you keep a city stream of a hundred, not a hundred trainees every year, two hundred mm -hmm. trainees every year? Because they're on the same gendered, like, groups yeah, each they, year, too. They, they're, they're on the on same, the same schedule. cycle. Yeah. And it's ridiculous. And if you think about it, it's like, oh, one of these seasons is gonna have to f fill in the gaps. And this was really the season where you saw that, because, yeah. well, because there are, three, like, you three most only Chinese people. Chinese. people. Entirely Chinese well, on with, Youth with like, You 3. with, like, one or two exceptions. Like, there but, were like, a we are, Japanese like, people, we're almost, like, 90% part, Chinese yeah. on I Youth with You 3. I did not see a single white person there. No, there are no white people no white people. on Youth with but, You. But, 
in this season, you had this massive issue because they were filming on an island because of COVID. They yes. were doing all these other things because of COVID. And they just could a bunch of people dropped out at the last a lot, minute. So a lot of it was because they had even more Japanese um, people who were supposed to be on this show who had last minute visa issues mm-hmm. due to like other reasons and probably a lot of covid related reasons yeah. as well and so they just could not show up to the filming of the show so at all at that point they had already had a bunch of white people on the show like and then you get into the fact that they they just got a bunch of russians ukrainians yes. a bunch of other people that just were not they just decided they were gonna be here some of yes. them and then you have the two major i wish i remembered what that intern's name was it's, it's, I think it's Andy or it's David. I think it's one and, of those no, two. Andy is the... Andy's the Ukrainian that can... That is better at Ukrainian than he is at a... Uh, that can sing in Ukrainian but not so much in thing. David is the... The David show is intern. the Russian. David's the intern. Uh, yes. <laughs> David, yeah. David so, was on the show of the 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 staff of the show working as an intern, and they came to him when they had not enough people to run the actual show. And was like, "Hey, can you just like be a contestant on this show for us, real fast?" Yep. And then you have Lelouch. Lelouch. Lelouch so, came on as a translator for two of yes. the Japanese contestants. Is what he was originally so, here for. Yeah, Lelouch. Mo- the story of Lelouch begins with the fact that he moved to China from Russia to, like, I don't know, make some money. And at that point, he's now just become a translator for this company. And the CEO asked him as a favor. Because he was friends with the CEO. He's friends with the CEO. At the, mean, at the time. At the time. I don't know how the friendship is doing. I don't yeah. think it's, I, I don't think it survived much longer. Mm-hmm. And so, it's so much. There's so much to talk about. He so, goes on yeah, show. so he was here trans- as a regularly. As a as a, the reason he the was here is he was a translator. He does not sing. He does no. not dance. He does no, not no. act. He does not want to do any of those things. He doesn't. He will make that very clear as long very as he is clear. on this show. Every time he's here, he's like, I don't want to be here. Please let me go home. And the thing was, after the... I guess you can sort of say tricked, but after, I guess, a lot of people, they basically had to sign essentially an ironclad contract, which is essentially, like, you can't really leave. Yeah. Because also you're on an island. So I don't yeah. know if they just didn't have the option to leave, because I've seen, I don't know how the contracts for the Chinese seasons of produce work, but at mm-hmm. least in the Korean ones, you can sort of bow out. Yeah. But this one, it did not seem like he could just leave. Because it might have just been that he didn't want to, like either. I guess maybe. But, but he, he also really makes it. Pre- he makes it leave. pretty known that he feels bad that he's on the show because he's taking away a spot, a spot from, from someone him. else who actually yeah. wants to be there instead so, of him who well, is there who does not, not want to be there. Good, but nor does he ever claim to be or wants to be. Mm-hmm. And now he's stuck here. And we're gonna talk about Lelouch as we go because he really is a highlight. Yeah, and similar to David, he was literally just asked to be on the show because they had a casting shortage, and they thought Lelouch was attractive enough that he was like, can you just, like, be be on this show real fast, and you'll probably get eliminated, like, real early anyway, so it won't be that bad, and then Lelouch made it to the finale. (laughs) And Lelouch almost makes it in the group. (laughs) Yeah. Not wanting to be there the entire time. But also Andy makes- uh, no, David. David makes it very far, too. David he makes like it farther five. than he probably should, too, and he also probably did not want to be there the at all. The thing with it also is that I think Lelouch took a lot of the heat. Like, I feel like if it wasn't Lelouch, it would have been David. And David I think also. Lelouch was just too entertaining to, like, not give him no, the screen honestly, time. No, honestly, I like, loved Like, he Lelouch. was just so good. <laughs> yeah, I loved Lelouch, man. Yeah. So And he was, he was just, he's just so funny. Every oh, time, because he's, I, I don't, I'm thinking that probably David was not making it known to the cameras, like, how much he hated well, being yeah, there. Like, but Lelouch was, like, out here vocally stating, like, I hate dancing, I hate singing, I've never done this in my life, please send me home. And people thought that was funny, and then they decided, no, you need to stay. Oh god, we love it. And then the public found out, and the public loved it. So, yes. So, essentially, the beginning of the show, they do all their auditions very little we spend a really unnecessarily long amount of time doing it 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very like, long Like, way, way too long. Mm-hmm. And then they all get their rankings, da 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 We do all of that nonsense and everything. And so then they have their first... Oh, also, we, we're we back to them essentially being in a military boot camp style, uh... Oh, we have housing. to talk about the goose, the goose. Oh, we have to talk about the goose and the housing. So, yes. essentially, as this goes, they get to pick their rooms, essentially by, like, them being let out into the world at, per, uh, grade... Uh-huh. So, like, A goes first, B, da-da-da, down the line. And the rooms get bigger as you go. Like, there's, uh-huh. like, rooms of two, rooms of three, rooms of four, rooms of, like, six, and then, and like, it's twelve. Like twelve, yeah. It goes up to, like, rooms of twelve. Or yes, sixteen yes. or something. It's a ridiculously big room. Uh-huh. That's just, like, bunk beds. And it looks like a fucking- it looks like a living room that you just put- It's definitely not the the castle that the girls were given in Zhuang 2020. It's definitely- we're not- not, it's not that. We're- but we aren't as bad as- We're not in military boot camp. We're not military from Zhuang 2019. The kids before, yeah. Yeah. We're not in the castle, but we're not in the fucking barracks. Yes. It's a little bit better. But, uh, the fun thing was that- to go around, the show had like a the, the so very there's a they have a goose, goose they have a goose mascot the whole season there's a goose mascot but it's also slightly like video games so it's also like a pixelated goose it's, it's very pixelated fun. goose yeah and originally we thought that this was just like a because you only see the goose neck and head so we thought yeah it was and you see it it like kind of like, you see this goose like going around, around, around giving you a tour of places yeah, yeah you see like the little thing of like around and you assume it's like someone holding it. Mm-hmm. And then you just see a person in like what seems like an inflatable sumo outfit. Kayla, yes. I sent you the screenshot of this. Put this in the episode, please. I w- it will. It was. It's really funny. It's it literally is... like a person with a goose head on their head. It's like a goose hat, but they're also like in a sumo like goose body like, suit. Su- yes, it's a lot. Yeah, I have so many thoughts. Why? Why? And also, we never see it again. We thought this was going to be a recurring theme. No, we only see no, it for this episode. I only really, we never I mean, see it again. It could, it could have been there again, and we just skipped it. But like, but it's, like, I don't. It was feel just like so was. out of. It was so bizarre to see a person dressed in a goose suit, dressed like a goose in this yeah. show. Yes, I was very confused. Yeah. Okay, so then we get to their first uh, evaluation. Which is the, like, t- which is, like, oh, the one thing I'll give this show, they did not have the songs be performed twice. It yes. It was verses, but it was one song versus another song. You're not both getting the same song. Which was good. Yep, yep. So do you just want to go through the songs? <laughs> Um, so I really don't have I don't remember, remember a lot of them. A lot of them. Let's uh, just some of them. highlight some. Let's highlight yeah, so the we, ones we I get, we get lit by Lay again, because we need Lay songs everywhere. Um. Even though this isn't the show Lay did. Yeah, but Lay we need, did. Lay, but Lay needs to be everywhere in China produced, and we also, do that again. Also, for some reason, we got Football Gang by Luhan. Who so the we fuck also remembers got that. that song? No That's one. That's like five years ago. <laughs> yep. Then we, we get... get we get Yummy by Justin Bieber, which actually honestly, is a really good performance. One of the best performances, Patrick, uh, not Patrick, uh, Santa's, Santa's there, up. Nine yes, is there. Nine. It's actually quite good. And the song, I hate that song a lot, but the performance is really good. It made good. it better. Yeah. It made it better. Yep, yep. Uh, we get the- uh, Me by Taylor Swift, which is really, oh, really God. awful. Me by Taylor it. Swift is one of the worst performances on this show. I <laughs> It's really it. bad. I hated it. It was and, uh, terrible. Like, it's really, it was really bizarre watching that for the first time for me because there's like two white men in that performance Very too. Prominent. And and then Very I was prominent. like, why can't they speak English well? And I'm like, and oh yeah, because they're, they're Russian. Russian. They're not yeah. American <laughs> yeah. or any sort of English country. They're pure Russian, and it's not. They're good. Russian, and I'm and like, then, and it's like, like, it's so weird. And then like the Chinese. um, singers that are there are also not also very good. can't speak english that well so mm-hmm. that was also a choice we also get butterfly which is a naruto opening opening ending? or ending it, it's a naruto something it felt or at least if it's not it's, it it's like an anime it. opening of, for something yep 
Um, because we love ch- covering anime openings and chewing. Apparently, yeah, that's it's a, a lot. thing that we do have to do every year. Yep, yep, yep. So, and a lot of these were just most like it's either they were. Cocoon Break is fine as well. A lot of the other ones, I, I don't remember a single one of the other ones. So. Yeah. Uh, the other thing was, and then, ooh, so then we get the them doing the um intro, not the intro, the Pikmin, the theme song. Yeah, the theme we song. don't. Do, we I don't know why we we don't do the theme song first in like trying know. to produce. It's know. a thing that both Chuang and Yuthithi do, but we don't do the, like, the Pick Me, like, theme song first, and it's I mean, we it's never, bizarre. we didn't even do the, we didn't really do the Pick Me in Japan at all. They did. They did? They, that's the oh, first thing they do. You, then Youth With You doesn't air Youth it. With you do, Youth, Youth With You doesn't, like, or they do it, like, they do it after, like, one or two rounds, and it's, like, like no, this well, one. one of the seasons not air it this year. Someone didn't air it this year, and I don't remember who it was. I don't it's know. It's all a blur. Uh, but I yeah. just said that the Chinese ones, they don't air it. They, it's not the first round. No, for, it is not. It should yeah. be, but it's not. Yeah. Uh, so this is the worst pick me in a while. It's, it's not good. It's not It's good. really bad, and it's I, unfortunate that this is such a good season and has such a bad pick me. The fun thing with it also is, I think a lot of it is that there's a lot of people on this show that are filler people. A lot. There's a lot of filler people. and A lot of people who don't even want to be here. <laughs> true. One specifically. Yeah. But, um... And then the other thing with it is just, uh, it's, cause this season, this show, Chuang in and of itself, does not have pick me's. Not yeah. since original, uh, China Pro, uh, Produce China 101, whatever. Words arrange that in the right order. Whatever that season's called. Yeah. Since the first sure. season, we haven't had an official pick me. They've only done music video style yogurt commercials that are essentially their pick me. Yeah. So this is the first pick me in a while, and honestly, it's slightly better than Produce One Hundred One China's pick me, but not by much. That season right. also is a terrible pick me. It is pretty bad, yeah. Have we talked about the uh, mentors? No, we have not, and I th- we probably should now because the before mentor- we get too far into yeah. it. Yeah. So the mentors, uh huh, of this season are very are interesting. So we have Nini from Bon Bon Girls. She's makes great. sense. Makes, makes sense, sense that she would be here. here. We have people that I don't. We have our the sen- kid from Rise, Rise is here, right? Yeah, yeah. Zhao Zahan, is the, name. the one, yeah, the, who, the one we, we don't, who we like. don't like. Yeah, <laughs> one of the worst centers I've ever seen. He's terrible Very center. Bad. Yeah, he's here, but like he gives fine advice. Right. Then we have just people we don't have a connection with. Like I don't. There's Dung a, Ch- like, a singer who's yeah. here who I don't know. Uh, Ding Chao, Ning, uh, Ning, ah, ah, Ning Jing. I can't speak Chinese words. I don't but now know. now we get to the one that we have to talk about. We do, unfortunately. Amber's here. Former Amber is of here. FX, Amber yeah. is a rap dance mentor. One, why is she a dance mentor? She's not a good, she's not. No. No. She's also not a good rapper. She's so, also like... not a good rapper. I don't know why she's here. Um, a lot of problems with her being here. Number one, she's Taiwanese American. She is Taiwanese American. She's yes. not, which again, there's a lot of Taiwanese, there's a lot of actual Taiwanese people that have actually been in these shows, and like, that's not the right. biggest issue. My thing will always be is Amber talks a lot about how much she hated being an idol. Uh-huh. And how the K-pop industry has, like, hurt her emotional, like, that she did not have a good time being an idol. Mm-hmm. So why are you doing this? In, ma- in mainland China, in mainland of all places, China, too. Of all places. Of all places, where you, like, essentially to have a career in mainland China have to endorse the Chinese government. Like... No, no, no. It's not essentially. You do. You have to. You have to either just not say anything, but even then you kind of have to endorse. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the fact that, yeah, she is Taiwanese-American, and now she's going And And that, for... just the being Taiwanese-American and being now in mainland China is something that I, it's, like, a little bit, like, contradictory for me to, like, even trying to, like, ha- like have a career in mainland China. It's like, hmm. Okay. Yep. It's a lot. Mm-hmm. But whatever. So, then we get to the second evaluation, which is the vocal dance... Yep. Uh, 
all of that. We do yep. some, like, garbage stuff in the middle. We don't care. I don't yep. care about it at all. So, we have some fun teams. So, we have Believer. That was fine. That was nice. We have a highlight, which is the, the whale in- The whale- uh, The whale transformed into, into an, an isolated, isolated island. island. Which is that my was favorite fun... title of all time now. Yes, yes. Highlight. That was it was a fun performance. It's essentially it's like very a good. traditional dance, like like a lyrical dance performance. It's very pretty. Liked that a lot. Mm-hmm. Then we have Therefore I Am. Lelouch By Billie in Eilish. One. Much Lelouch like is Taylor there. Swift. I think yes. that they need to stop doing Billie Eilish. Long. We gotta stop doing Billie Eilish and Taylor Swift because they don't end up well. So is here, what we have discovered. Here's what happens every time Lelouch is in this. Um, the problem really becomes the fact that he is doing his best, but he is, one, not talented, and two, not motivated. He yes. does not want to be here. Why would he be motivated to, like, try to do his best? But also then you have the guilt of the fact that he's like, I am in this group with these people. I yes. should not be here. I can't I be bad. Enough. I can't I actively be bad. Yeah. <laughs> because he feels bad about the fact that like, if I'm terrible, they will suffer. They, they so, suffer, like, he's yeah. he's put in this terrible position. I feel bad for him. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, he's not that good. And he he's knows not. that. He knows. He's fully aware of the fact that he is not because, good. Like, the other- Because uh, an example of this will be that, um, uh, remember when they were doing- I think this was the pick-me where they were like, yeah, you probably should stay here all night, da 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 That kind of thing with idols where it's like- you have to do this all night to get good at it. You have to learn this in three days. If you don't do this, you should just leave. And he yeah. walks out of the room because he doesn't actually actively want to be there. Yes. And that's just something he'll do because he's just like, Because I, I he don't. doesn't care. It is Please. like, you know what, that's what I want. I want to leave. <laughs> like, I would like to not be here anymore. Uh-huh. And I'm like, fair. You actually, like, don't want to be here. Which makes sense. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to be there if I was him. Yep, yep. So then, that crab song dance. Is bad. Crab dance is crab dance. Pretty is this season <laughs> seaweed dance, which yeah. is this also this uh, series is like PPAP derivative. But it's always worse. The chewing ones it's are always, always worse. They're the chewing always bad. Ones are always bad. Period. The youth with you ones are better. The youth for sure. ones are better. The youth of you one from this year, which we'll get to. Sunshine Rainbow so White good. Horse. <laughs> Sunshine Rainbow White Horse is a top tier performance from this year. Crab Dance is very bad. The crab Dance, horrible. It is essentially the follow up to Seaweed Dance, and it is a bad. It's a weird children's song. It's bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Worst Lemon. We do. We get another performance of Lemon, which is our uh, our at uh, one best vocal performance out of all of the last um. Which again, seasons of produce have? on Japan. Probably not. No, but it did. And I have a lot of problems with this version of Lemon. Is uh, it technically? Okay. No, it's not. It is not at all technically better. And True. I have many re- I've thought about this a lot. <laughs> I've thought about it a lot. Because, number one, I think the reason they put in so many English and Japanese songs into the season is because they knew they had a lot of foreign trainees this year. Mm-hmm. Not a single Japanese person picked Lemon to cover. Because so, none of them wanted to cover Lemon. None Lemon's of them hard. wanted to cover Lemon. So all of them in that group are Chinese, cannot speak fluent Japanese. And so uh, really the main barrier they're all trying to get over is, you know, s- like singing a song in Japanese now. And the arrangement of the song is so bad that it really, all of the heart and emotion of that song has gone. Like it's absolutely gone. And these kids are just like singing with zero emotion, partially because the arrangement took all the emotion out, and partially because they are also trying to, like, speak Japanese, a language they are not fluent in. So there's a lot of things that went wrong with it, but it's very bad. I don't enjoy it. Much worse than Produce Japan Lemon. So much worse. Oh, it's so much worse than Produce Japan Lemon. I'm very upset So by, much worse. By that overall, as a concept. It was... It was so confusing, like, when it came up as, like, a song on Chewing, and I'm like, is this the same lemon? Are we talking about, like, Japanese yeah. lemon? Yeah, I'm just like, but also, they translate a lot of songs, just generally in all these seasons, like, uh-huh. are we gonna translate lemon into Chinese was my first thought, too. Right, because they do that sometimes. They do that with a lot of Sea and Blue songs. They just, they do. But that's, um, that's for that's next week. That's for next, that's for neither here nor there, but yes. That's, yes, yes. 
That does happen. It happens a lot. Honestly, why? Why are why? we doing this? Why did we do that? I don't know why we did that. Um, is there anything else here that's interesting? That I remember? And no. Not really. Not really. A lot of people go home. I care for nothing except that a lot of my sweet- that a lot of the nice people are still around. All of our They're good still boys here. are here. And mm-hmm. as much as he doesn't want to be, Lelouch is along for Lelouch the is also Lelouch is also still present at this point. Uh, as we keep going, uh, I want to- Oh no, that's the next elimination. I wanted to talk about the paragliding elimination first. Oh, the paragliding elimination? We'll, we'll get to that. That's right before the finale. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, so, so next we're gonna do uh, original song round, which yay. is I guess the concept concept value, whatever, whatever that one is. Yep. We are gonna bring in um, random women as as tradition. Random on... women. Yes. That don't do anything. Yep. Don't do a lot. Um, nope. Make we from WJSN slash Rocket Girls is one of them. She's present. Sally is gonna be there. Sally's present. Um. Amber is gonna be one of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a couple of other people who are, like, actresses who are also gonna be there. No one really that exciting. I feel like they get better people for the- for the guys. Yeah. I like- None of lo- them are that exciting. We don't- we don't get our- your lovely tall man never returned. We don't got a- just tall man to stand there awkwardly, um, like in Tears of a Ferris Wheel. And just give out flowers. Mm-hmm. It's very funny. Yep, yep. The only one of these songs I remember or think is good is Na Na Party. Na Na Party is very fun. The one I also remember is the one that uh, Mika sings, which is weird. Yes. It's a weird, it is slightly, because it's, okay, so we'll talk about Na Na Party first. Na Na Party is actually very fun. It's It's essentially a a music video. It's essentially a music video. They filmed a music video for that song. Yeah, it's very cute. Mm -hmm. And then you have... Mika doing, what is it called? He is in, uh, is what, is this really the name of the song in Code Cute and Press 5? Or is Maybe. that the name of the group? I, it's, is I that think the name of the song? No, I think it's the name of the song because everyone else seems to have the name of the song. That might be the name of the song. It's bad name. But what I will say, it is very weird because, like, Nine is there, other people are there, but, so... To set the stage, it is, like, a weird, like, house-style situation where the other members are on one side of the stage, right? Yep. And then Mika and this actress girl are on the other side of the stage. They're, like, weirdly flirting in the corner. All the other members Just by by themselves in the corner. (laughs) Do not engage in that. They are off somewhere else, and I'm like, what is happening? Uh-huh. What is the concept here? I don't. It's It's got, like, almost the same vibes as, like, the harem song from uh, last year. From last year? That yeah. Me... Look, it's got a similar vibe. I still think that the harem song is better. but it is, like... harem, it is better as a song, for sure, because it's, like, a weird ballad type of a thing. Yeah, but it's well sung. It's, they have good people. Yeah. The Oh, oh I re- just remembered. So, in the last round... You Better Not Think About Me is the song with the paper boat. Oh, you better not think. So, in that one, which we have to talk about, is it's actually a pretty yes. decently sung ballad. But one member just... This is when you know China has too much budget. So they have too created much money. a river th- with water, like a pool situation, yep. that runs across the stage where they put a giant... Like, big enough for a human being It's a boat. It's like a motorized boat. It's a motorized boat, but, like, big enough- Looks like a paper boat. Looks like a paper boat, but, like, big enough for a person to sit on. Um, it's- uh, Essentially, he's sitting on the front of the boat, so it's, like, like, a pretty large boat. you could have, like, a person on the other side of the boat. It's, like, big enough for, like, two to three people Multiple people could be on this boat if they really wanted to be. True. I don't know how the- Like, I feel like that would sink, but, like, in terms of space, you could fit multiple people. Yes, yes. In terms of that, everyone else is on the stage. One man gets to sit on the boat. He is and just, just like sort of like carried through, and he's just like sort of like slowly floating around the stage on this boat as the song progresses, and it's really, really a funny thing to look at. It's a choice. 
I didn't need to mention that because I f- remember it. I pr- was pretty sure the boat song was this season, but I didn't remember what song it was called, so didn't need to talk about that. Yeah, I completely forgot that, uh, that that is how that was going. Yes, yes. Ugh, I completely forgot whatever, what that song was called. There's so much on this show. A lot. The weird thing is that the performances themselves, a lot of them are quite boring. Yeah. But, like, the but people But not, not a lot of them are- yeah, but not a lot of them are bad. Is also no. there? Well, there are. Okay, you know what? That's incorrect because there is Some a lot of them, them are like are but pretty they're bad. Not truly, like the the tier of awful that some seasons have. Mm-hmm. So that's all the that's the only interest of the uh, of the whatever original song original round. song round. So then we get. Can I just want to talk about the name of this other song, which is "It's Raining." I'm thinking about you. That's a choice. fun name for a song. Mm-hmm. It's not quite as bad as Include Cute and Press 5, but, you know, a choice. Considering Include Cute and Press 5 is also a, uh, like, it is a, it's a ballad. It's not even, it like, is a ballad. song. <laughs> it's a weird song to be, it's a weird song to have that title, yeah. But anyway... Anyway, um, then we get next elimination we, is the paragliding elimination. So they've decided that this elimination, the one right before the finale, we are going to. Oh, did we talk about Amber then? We did already. Uh, no, Amber in the. She well, Amber sa- does do. She's in Satellite XL, I think. With Kaylin, is that the, with Kaylin? Yeah, it's bad. She also, I think, probably makes herself more of the center of it than she should be. Yeah, considering. They're kind of there to be a guest, and, like, not really the scent- that's, like, not supposed to be a song about them, But, which like, is annoying. she's there the entire time and actively yeah. participating in a way. And actively in the center much. a lot of the time, yeah. It's a bit much. hmm So then we get to the lovely, uh, ending, where they take them to a- to a- to a beach, right? Yep, yep. And they, uh, essentially have them, at least for the first couple people, just be, like- Hey, you want to go paragliding to fit? Because they eliminate everybody, but they only keep the people that are left. Yeah. And then to make them figure out their rank, they essentially take them paragliding for no reason. Also, it takes for fucking ever. They have to show them sign the fucking waiver, even. Like, yeah. they cut nothing. We, t- from we this spend a lot of time on that. <laughs> we spend a lot of time on that. They, they explain the waiver to us, too. Yes. Not just the members. They, I have to be, apparently I need to know what this waiver says. Mm-hmm. Apparently. But, like. But anyway. So a bunch of people, they go on there to see, receive their rank. Then they ask Lelouch. Now, mind yes. you, every single person up to this point in every elimination has looked at Lelouch and laughed at the situation he's in because what else are you supposed to do? The uh-huh. mentors. The other contestants. Everybody knows and, like, jokes around with this man that he would like to go home. Yes. And, like, production, everyone just, like, whenever they ask him questions, it's always that. And I'm like, I feel bad. But they ask, oh, would you like to receive it here or would you like to go paragliding? They ask a group of people. They get to Lelouch and he's like, just tell me. Just, just ask, yeah, and I'm like, I don't want any don't more want of your bullshit, to. please. He doesn't even, like, it's like, it's just, it's just a fun activity. He's just like, just fucking just tell please. me. Just please. Just, I don't want to Put this. I don't want to be misery. suffered anymore, yeah. Because, like, you can really tell that now he's scared. Yeah, that he might end up in a C-pop group. Against his will. Too. Yeah. I feel bad. I do want to point out that after, between this episode and the finale, Lelouch's fan club did put out a notice that's saying, out of Lelouch's wishes, we are going to stop voting for him now. <laughs> because we do not actually want the poor man to suffer through that. Because that's the thing here, is that, unfortunately, that was a real possibility that this was, he he has no way of knowing that this is, like, a weird joke. Like, he has no way of knowing that they're going to stop. Right? Because they could have just not listened to that and still and voted for him, and it. then all of a sudden he's an into one. And all of a sudden they make him be an into one and no one is... Yep. All of a sudden he's stuck in this group for four years again, or however many, two, one and a half years against his will. Because I felt bad for the poor man. I feel really bad for him. 
And it said, it said first before, before I like knew the context behind it and realized like, oh, he really doesn't want to be here. I thought it was like an act where he was like, he's doing that because he knows it's going to get people to like vote for him to stay. But then you watch it and you realize like, no, this man wants to go home. Yeah. Like, like he does is, not want to no be here. Because like, in a way, like if he was attempting to improve or attempting to get better at anything, like there's a difference there. No, he's yeah. still actively bad and like actively not trying to improve. Like he really oh, just yeah. does not seem like he wants to be there. And uh-huh. I felt bad. I felt so bad. So so bad for him. And so that happens. Now we get to the finale. Now the fun thing about finales in uh Youth with uh, and Chuang, which I will say I do like, is that they do give each person an opportunity to do a solo. They do. Like a two minute solo. They Some do. people sing ballads, and Nine and Mika both sing ballads. Um, Santa does this interpretive dance. That's fun. I mm-hmm. want to talk specifically about two people. Yes, yes. Uh, one. Yes, yes. Uh, let's start, let's. W- let's go, do we start with Lelouch or let's end with, with Lelouch? Let's start with Lelouch. We're already on the Lelouch train. <laughs> so Lelouch decides to rap in Russian because the man yes, is- his native language. That's his native language. It's terrible. He's so oh, bad. He's so, so bad. And I was like, you know, maybe it'll be better because it's in Russian. And I'm like, absolutely not. Like, it is terrible. The like, other thing with that so is just bad. that this man's, like, he's not an idol. He's not a rapper. He's, he's never not tried to be a rapper. This man doesn't want to be here. He not a, he has practiced to be an idol for, like, 0% of his life. Like, not a thing he wants. Exactly, like. It's a bit much for him, and I felt, like, he's, because the thing is, like, he, there's nowhere to hide here. This is an yeah. entire, like, a minute, 30 seconds, to two minutes of just Lelouch. And honestly, the one thing I will say is that Lelouch does seem like a good person because everyone is cheering for him. Everyone is just, like, like, bopping to it. Yes, yes. And it's just one of those situations where I'm like, Lelouch must be a good person. Right. Because everyone is, like, so on his side. Because I'm on his side. Every, like, other contestant, no one is, like, resent- at least outwardly resentful right. toward him. hmm Because we will see in this season- this is the thing we forgot to mention at the board- is, like, people are, like, brutal Nasty. on this show. They, they are, are like, so they are salty. A hundred percent honest on this. Show. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's like as soon as we started watching it, it's like you would hear comments from certain people, and I was like, "Wow, <laughs> like no, this is a thing that we're deciding to say right now." Because it kind of gets overshadowed by like we have so much to say now. Yeah, but like we have forgotten to mention just like in the auditions where it's just like, oh, they're not good. Yeah, you would and hear I'm the like, Trinity saying like, fuck? "Oh, it's not good," and I'm like, "You never hear people I saying never that." Hear that. Like, could you imagine if a singular person on a Korean produce said about a different... Because I remember back when they were doing Produce 48, and, uh-huh. like, th- those auditions happened. People were like, oh, they're so mean. Yeah. To, like, especially the a Japanese, lot of the Japanese kids. Yeah. And, like, they said nothing. Yeah, yeah. Could you imagine if anybody said anything? Actually said, show? like, wow, it's bad, wow, or, it's like, bad. they're not good, or, like, I need to, I can worry less, and now it's like, I'm wow, like, we're just going at it this time. I mean, it's 100% honest, and, like, no one yeah. is being malicious, they're just no. being honest. And I'm like, oh my- I was like, like shit. Is it the well, shit damn. they cut? Or, like- Right? It's, like, it's hell? weird. I like it, though. I, I it actually is fun. really- I love- because- so much of these contestants seem like real people. They do. I love it. Also, do you want to mention that, um, because we're kind of at the end of the show now, we've already talked about, yeah. like, the group. Chuang has a side show because, it, you know, we didn't have enough content of, like, mm-hmm. however many hours of this show we were given each week. We, we have, have a side show, King. Are you, are a, you werewolf? a werewolf? Yep, Which it's like just... a Running Man-esque, like, variety show. They put, like, a random 12 people on it. And by a random 12 people, I mean, like, there are, like, for the most part, you end up with, like, at least, you have at least three or four people that are, like, obviously making the group. Like, it's not truly random, but, like, you end up with, like, a lot of people. A couple other people. People that I think they definitely vet people who are, like, good at variety for it, for sure. Yeah. But, like, Lelouch is on one episode, a couple episodes. Yeah, Lelouch is there a little bit. Yep. 
It's a bit- Kaylin is on it a lot. Kaylin's on it a lot, but I think that's also because they also have Kaylin MC a lot. Yeah. Just because I- Not as much as another person we'll get to next week. We'll get to next week, who's literally his former job was an MC. (laughs) And I think his future job might be an MC, too. Yeah. But, like, yeah, no. I think that you just have people that, like, you vet them for their personality, and I think it's good. But, yeah, uh, 2021, are you a werewolf? We haven't seen it, but, like, do you want more content? It exists. It's there if you really want it. I I haven't really watched a lot of it. I watched enough of it to know that it is kind of, like, running man, like a random game-based variety show. Honestly, I wish more seasons would have done that, because that seems, like, fun. It is an extra, like, fun extra content to have. You know, they really, I think they realized, um, that they had a really good cast of people, and then just, like, milked it as much as they could. They truly are amazing. They truly are icons. Yeah. I will think about Lelouch till the end of my days. Lelouch, it's like, Lelouch was such a nice addition to the season, just his entire, like, saga, really. I know. And, then, and it was, it's it's so unfortunate for him, because he's obviously having a terrible time being there, but he's- But, like, everyone just, else is enjoying it so much. Yeah, it's, it's My it's favorite so thing fun. will always just be the judges also know, and they will tease the fuck out of him, which is almost- Every time, because his, but, like, Lelouch's ranking goes up, like, every, every single time. time, and By everyone the end, just, I like, is Lelouch so- ranked funny. 11th was his highest, Yeah, which and then they would, like- would be in the group. <laughs> And all of the judges were like, oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> like, it's, it's insane. It's so, it, it's so funny. It's just, it's a, such a fun storyline to the season. And I think it brings like a lot of levity to it as well. Yeah. But it's also just a great time. Oh no, it's fab. It's absolutely fabulous. I also like to think that Lelouch's ranking was entirely, uh, although Lelouch ranked 10th. Which means he definitely would have been in the group. Definitely made the group, yeah. He's just like, fuck. He sees himself ranked 10th because he goes up every time significantly. Yeah. And it's insane to me. But then you have the lovely... I also like to think that Lelouch picked his name because of the anime because that just seems like a fun... I know, I thought that was so funny because the first time I heard Lelouch, I was like, oh, you mean like Code Geass Lelouch? <laughs> And I thought it was, like, you know, but it was, like, maybe that's just his name because I wasn't thinking about it too much. And I'm, like, because he was, like, Russian and everything, like, maybe that's just a name over there. And then I read his bio and it was, like, no, he picked his stage name after the Code Chaos character Lelouch. And I was, like, oh, okay. Just, like, oh, fuck. Well, I, yep. guess, I guess we're here now. I guess this is what we're doing now. It's Santa and Lelouch. Santa, real name. Santa. Lelouch, stage name. Santa, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, Santa birth name. Santa birth name. I still can't get over that. <laughs> it's his birth name. Santa birth name. Then you have fucking Patrick and Natawat Finkler birth yes. name. Yep. Fabulous. I think that I think I wasn't as thrown off by a person named Santa because I did play a video game where there was a ja- like a Japanese video game where there was a character named Santa. But I also do think that was. A Santa, um, re- a Santa it was Claus a, reference? It was a Santa Claus reference. It wasn't like his name was Santa, yeah. Just with no connotation to Santa Claus at all. It was like, it's a game where they had to pick, like, nicknames because they didn't want to give out, like, their real names. And so one of them picked Santa, or for some reason. and I, But it was definitely a reference to Santa Claus. You know. Think of a, think of an English name. Go. Uh, uh, uh Santa. Santa. That's it. Santa Claus. Yep, yep. Alright, and so the other person I wanted to talk about their solo performance was Patrick's. Patrick is very funny. It's so, it's so fun. So uh, Patrick Matt- does a weird dance thing to Bad and Pushy. <laughs> Which is amazing, because I always love this type of thing with people that obviously know. Patrick yes, he, is German. He Patrick knows. knows what that means. He knows what that song is. Because, like, there is some plausible deniability mm-hmm. if, like, you know... Santa did this song, or like right? a, one of the Chinese members. Did. There's some plausible deniability. I yes. don't think there's as much plausible deniability with Patrick. I really don't. It's amazing. I love it. Right? Ugh. And he's actually a good dancer. I like Patrick. Also, can we talk about how what his shirt says? Oh, yeah, the shirt. Oh, what did the shirt say? It was something really stupid. It's fate. It's faith connection, but spelled with an X. Yes. Which is amazing. 
connection. Honestly, the one thing I will say, for as much as we're thinking, is uh, that Korea is thinking about bringing back produce. Uh, if you're going to take anything from Chinese produce, take that. Make it yes. that the finale actually has something interesting going on. Make these people actually have to entertain a crowd for two minutes by themselves. Because that'll be the proof of that they're, if they're good or not, really. Yes, yes. Cause the- it is, I think it is a really nice touch to the finale because these... Well, well, Japan has its shit together, so the finale's only like an hour and a half. But the this other finale finales so tend to run like three, three and a half hours usually. Oh, yeah. But I do think this is a nice thing to put in there to give everyone their, like, uh, individual a, a performance. Spot I think shine. it's nice. Yeah. Because I do think, like, while I do like the uh, group performances, I think it's very easy to get lost in a group, especially a group of that size. Like, the fact that, like, no, you're on the spot, you have to take whatever talent you have. Because you don't have to sing and you don't have to rap, you just have to do something. Yes, yes. So that was the, then we, then we get the reveal of who's in the group. We already yeah. talked about who's There's in the group. There's not a lot of big surprises there at all. No. I don't think. I mean, let's be honest. I think people, people were, were expecting Kaylin in the group and he didn't make it, so I guess that's like something. I'm fine with that. I'm I don't, genuinely Didn't fine really, with it. don't, yeah. So we don't really talk about this that much, but we both find Kaylin like pretty obnoxious of a person. I find Kaylin extremely obnoxious. Oh yeah, he is. He is um, Kaylin, a lot. So <laughs> He's a lot. All the members of uh, intersection, intersection, yes, intersection, intersection yeah. are half white, half Japanese. They yes. are all American. Yes, some of them more American than others. Kaylin is super Kaylin, American. Kaylin very American. Mika, yes. very Mika's he's a American. sweet boy. He's a very, very sweet American. Boy, very, very American, sweet. But very sweet, boy. sweet. I love Mika. Mika's great. Yeah. Kaylin is very American. Kaylin is the guy. Kaylin is like borderline on like frat boy he's energy. Frat boy. He's like right there. <laughs> he is he is big frat boy energy, but not yeah. in the fun way of like Icon is frat boy energy. Yes, because yes. we've always maintained that I uh frat the best kind of frat boy energy is like the energy of Icon, the K-Dub yes, group yes. Icon. They're the best kind of frat boy energy. Kalen is like actual frat boys actual frat boy energy icon is like movie like movie frat boys yes they kaylin is real frat boy energy like Mm -hmm. irl frat boys oh yes not fun no don't don't love that don't love it now he's making like solo beaver beaver style music and i don't know how i feel about it yeah i don't love i don't love that either but you know i guess He's gonna do it now, so can't really stop him. Yeah. The, um, we've already talked about Into One a little bit on when we did that um tier ranking produced uh, songs. First, yeah. We do really like them, and we do like their music because their music is still very C pop without being like in that really obnoxiously loud um C pop, which is nice. Mm-hmm. It's a nice change. Yeah, I like them a lot. They are doing that like kind of loud. <laughs> It's definitely still C-pop. Like, yeah. we're still definitely doing C-pop, for sure. Oh, yeah. The one thing I will say, because, um, unlike what the Japanese groups do, where, uh, both I and I and JO1 are just K-pop in Japanese, mm-hmm. uh, all of the Chinese groups just, they, they're doing C-pop to varying styles of C-pop, Siri, but they're yeah. all C-pop. It's for all sure. C-pop. None of it's K-pop related, which is why I think a lot of people don't particularly like fo- well one it's harder to follow c-pop it's very yeah. much like you have to try a lot mm-hmm. it doesn't just fall into your lap the way a lot of uh k-pop does yeah but genuinely i think that uh i think they're really good i like I them like a lot them. i will enjoy them for like the year and a half two years of they we have they them exist. yeah yeah That'll i'm be fun. excited for them I like mm-hmm. the group. I think the group has a lot of people I really like. I know so many a lot members of, of this a, it group. It also helps that a, lo- a lot of the people we like ended up making the oh, group yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the because only we, person that in a de- white, the yeah, only we, person we 
like that did make it in the group. I also did not want to make yeah, the group. Yeah, Lelouch love also was hoping love he Lelouch. wasn't in the group. Love him was a lot, but he rooting against him. did not want him in the group, and Lelouch also didn't want to be in the group. So it worked out for the best for everybody. That's what I'm, yeah. Because, like, there's no one else, really, that I was, like, really invested in. Because I was already invested in, like, six people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of them ended up in this group, which is insane. That's so many. That's, like, half the group already. I know. And cause and then you had Lelouch where I'm like, you know what? Actively rooting I'm rooting for you. you, but I mean I'm not rooting for you to be in this group. I'm actively specifically. technically technically I'm actively rooting against you. And but right. I think you're also actively rooting against yourself. I'm rooting in Lelouch's best interest, and his True. best interests were to not be in this group. So I think we I wanna end with just the reaction to the Lelouch plot, which was that this was being covered by like there are like multiple like, videos. International news sites well, picked up on the Lelouch storyline of this show. Yeah, like there's like I had a like a uh, a very like a videos about people being like, yeah, the yeah, this the man, Iowa, Russian want... man held hostage on Chinese survival show. Yeah, Russian man not allowed to leave a Chinese survival show. Like, there mm-hmm. are compilations of, like... There's a lot. Lelouch. So much. It's a lot. I like it, though. So, it's so, so much. Bad. I feel bad for him. He deserves yes. better. But... I feel so bad for him. But, it's a It is. It was a choice. Yeah. Oh, um, but, man. and then it's also funny, after, you know, the finale of this show, I would just get random tweets of, Lelouch has been spotted taking a walk over here, and I just would get yeah. updates of people who just spot Lelouch in the wild, because they the follow wild. him around, and yeah. just, like, needed to alert the public to, here's Lelouch, everybody. He's alive, everyone. My yeah. other thing I want to point out is just that, um, so I don't know if we've ever spoken about this on the podcast, but Kayla and I have a weird thing with every asian men's health cover i've ever seen yes 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 especially ones where k-pop idols are involved the korean ones are bad terrible because yeah. every time and i don't care who it is it has been Taekyun from from 2 p.m the man is ripped but for some reason every single person looks like it is a different head on a they do something body. bizarre something to the always, body proportions where the head does wrong. not match the body yeah somehow the skin tone of the head also doesn't match the body it's really they do something really bizarre to every cover where it just does not look good it always looks terrible but yeah guess who was on the cover of uh men's health china lelouch, lelouch. managed to go on full the cover shirt of on <laughs> full shirt on but he looks so fabulous. he looks normal he looks great <laughs> He looks like a normal person. Lelouch nowhere near buff. Lelouch very no. skinny. But yes. he looks great. Great for looks Lelouch. Great. I think he's, he's also like thriving. Yeah, just he's like thriving as an influencer thriving. in China. Yeah. And you know what? I think he deserves it after everything he Honestly, went after going through this entire show, which is probably a nightmare for him. You know, I'm good happy for him. For him. I, th- yeah. I I think he did well. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so that was Produ- uh, Chuang 2021. Woohoo. Possibly the last season of Chuang. Probably. Because. Is what I would assume. China. Because of the new has, China rules. Yeah, the China regulations have sort of put an end to competition based, uh, like idol survival shows. shows, idol shows. Yeah. I think that doesn't count with, like, a, for example, like a kingdom equivalent. Yeah, like, like Stage show, Boom like stage is probably boom fine. Is and, fine. like, Rap of China is probably fine, is what I would assume. Well, like, a survival show that's making a group Like, the is building probably, a group, like, yeah. A, no. a lot of that will be due to the season we talk about next week. Oh, um, we'll get, oh that'll be... That'll, we're so, holding a funeral. Holding a funeral week. for um, the produce series. wear their best morning gear. Yep, yep. It will be... Hey... It will- no, it won't be. I was gonna say it'll be our last episode before Halloween, but it won't be. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would have been perfect. It would have been great if it was. But, um, update, we will also be doing- uh, that episode will actually be Squid Game. Yeah, we- so- (laughs) I'm gonna make a, an addendum right now that we had already recorded a couple of the episodes for, um, Asian Drama November that- the, our plans at that point in time were different than our plans now because Those Squid Game came out and decided changed. we needed to cover Squid Game, so we split it into the schedule, which means we had to change the schedule a little bit. So, like, here we are. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. 
We you know, will, it's well, fine. We it was just we need, we need to talk date. about it. Everything we gotta talk is, about it. We have to talk. We have so many thoughts, people. Yeah, it will already be massively out of date by then. But like, it's fine. It will. Trust it will. Me, it will. We're definitely a, not getting in on Peak Squid Game. Yeah, it won't. But it'll have some sort of a revival because of Halloween. I sure. like to. I like to think that it'll just sure, have sure. a mini revival because everyone will have gone yeah. to Squid Game for Halloween. I don't even want to know how many people are going to Squid Game for Halloween. Uh, well, I've Too looked many. it up on Go- I've looked it up on Amazon. Uh-huh. Uh, the costumes are available, and the costumes are not that expensive. The costumes aren't that elaborate, so, like, I no, feel like it's, like, even so many masks, people are gonna do it. Even the masks are, like, like, all of the masks are, like, 20 bucks. Yeah. So, like, uh, it's very cheap costume. Yep, yep. I ain't doing shit. Oh, lord. But anyway, this has been Chewing 2021. Um, We will be back with Youth of Three 3 next week. If you're listening to us on YouTube, we are also available on all major podcasting platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts and all of those fun places. And if you're listening to us there, we also have a YouTube channel, um, Knee Slapping K-Pop Podcast, where we post all of our episodes along with fun clip videos as well every week. Um, I think the the bonus produced ones are coming now because yep. we only have two of them. So yep. that'll so be out that if you would like to see more been, produced content from us. That will have been Wednesday and next Wednesday. Yes, which is um best and worst performances of the 2021 produce, and then we re ranked our top favorite um 50 trainees. trainees that have been on the show. And then we also have an Instagram and a Twitter, which I linked in the description of every episode. Yay! So, yay. And we will talk to you guys next week. Bye! Bye.